domain and codomain, what they mean, and how they're used. Now in math, when we talk about functions, we usually talk about domain and range. But if we're talking about a function in an abstract sense, we can start to see what's the domain and what's the codomain. So here's a definition to start off with. In a function, in a function f, let's just call it lowercase f, which maps x to y, x is called the domain, x is called the domain, and the y is called the codomain. The codomain. So down here I have a picture which kind of illustrates what I'm talking about. We're dealing with a function from x to y where x is this green oval over here and y is this bluish oval over here. Now inside y we have the range. So labeling all this, the x is going to be the domain. This is the set of all x values. And y is going to be the codomain. The codomain. And inside the codomain, we have what's known as the range. So this yellow oval is called the range. And every single x value is going to get mapped to an element within the range, but the range itself is a subset of the codomain. So notes, f of x, known as the range, known as the range, is a subset is a subset of codomain y. Codomain y. So what's going on is every single domain element here pictured as x is getting mapped to a range element called f of x. And every single range element is a member of the range and every range element is also a member of the codomain, the bigger universe called Y. So that's the difference between the domain and the codomain. Two different words, they mean two different sets, X and Y. And the range, F of X, is a subset of the larger codomain. So I hope that helps.